moved to Astrakhan Alliance back in 1989. Um, the children were small, one was two, coming up two, and the other one was seven, no, six, six. And um, couldn't get over how, when we came here, how everybody was so friendly. We, we were living in Hampshire. We'd gone out of, um, with Maggie Thatcher's idea. We'd bought the council house that we were in. Um, but then my, my, my ex-husband had decided that he wanted to work um, long distance driving abroad rather than just in Britain. And it wasn't quite so, I mean, he, ha he had to sort of live out there while he was driving as well as, you know, keeping a house at the family at home. So money didn't go quite as far as we thought it would. Um, and we got in a bit of a mix up with the mortgage, you know, behind. Hence, um, we were looking to sell rather than be repossessed and then looking for somewhere else that we could move to that was cheaper. And um, my ex wanted to move into a caravan and I wasn't so keen with the family, so we ended up coming to Wales. We came up from um, Hampshire a few times in the car, just cruising around. We'd found some buildings advertised in various places uh, but that were really cheap, like 20, 22,000 was some, some prices. Took a lot of finding. When we got there, there'd be, you know, like one house and a, and a graveyard and nothing else. It was just sort of, you know, not very inviting, not, not what we were used to. Um, so we kept looking. And one time we were coming back from looking and we came through Astrogan Lice and saw the little um, estate agent there. And sort of, that was the start of it, really. We had a look and found somewhere here. Well, speakers, but not singers. My daughter was... Um, she went to Cunnelly School and they put on this uh, Joseph um, musical and she was asked not to sing. <laughs> she was just mouthed the words because her voice wasn't up to Welsh standard. <laughs> Where I come from in Hampshire, you only talk to people if you've been introduced. Um, so if you pass in the street, you, you don't smile, you don't say hello, you just pass in the street, um, which was normal for me then. But when I came here, I, it was so charming. You, you go along the street, and I didn't know the people, but they'd say, hello, good morning, you know? And they might stop and pass the time of the weather or whatever. And that was just so lovely. Um, I don't know if they do that, but like I say, if you... No, I don't think you particularly have to be well-dressed, but you do... Um, you do need to know somebody to speak to them. You just... Otherwise, you don't. So... so you need a letter of introduction. You have to be introduced or know them. Yes. Uh, otherwise, you just pass on the street, which is a bit, bit foreign. You know, it's a bit nasty, really. You know, at it, it's not such a nice, friendly attitude. And then moved here and was just amazed how friendly people were and how lovely. You know, you get on a bus and you sit down, whereas we, in Hampshire you'd sit down on a bus, somebody else would sit down. You don't know them, you don't speak to them, and you have a quiet, long journey. But when in Wales, you sit down and you chat to the person next door. You don't know them, but you just chat. Um, and it's lovely. The, the journey passes in no time. So it's completely different. I don't know if there's any more now in particular, but I have, since we've been here, we've noticed other people from a similar area, Hampshire, nearby, you know, um, have chosen this area to settle in. So there must be some, some sort of attraction to, as long as they're not buying up houses and, and then just leaving them as holiday homes, you know, that, that I think is bad because people here need a house as well, you know. So I think that needs to be taken into consideration. You know, if people want to move here, that's fine. Um, but not to the extent where they move in for the summer and then disappear and just leave an empty house.